Alright, what up YouTube? Doom MYC here with a deck profile. Um, took me a little while, but I put together a Nordic deck. A lot of you have been asking for it, so this is my take on it. Um, granted, this deck is, you know, this is new stuff, so hardly anybody knows how this stuff really plays, but if I had to build a deck, this is probably how I'd build it. So, here we go, let's start. Um, first off, we got double vanitas of the nordic ascendant uh this guy's um <clears throat> level four tuner can only be used with um with like other nordic monsters to synchro but it can be used f like generically like quick draw synchron for any of the the big guys you know thor loki odin so that's what makes him playable in the deck um so two of him uh, I thought about three, but it just didn't seem like it would be good. So, two works. Um, next card up, we got double Valkyrie of Nordic Ascendant. This card's awesome. This card will get you Odin first turn because you can summon the summon her, ditch like uh, remove from play two uh, Nordic monsters from your hand, and then you get two tokens that are both level three each so three three and two no my fault um two level four tokens so four four and two is ten so this will give you odin right off the jump you can if you get this first turn with two other nordics you get odin first turn that that's that's pretty hard for your opponent to come back from so two of this uh, i thought about three but you also gotta think about how often are you gonna draw this with two other nordics in order to use the effect so i think two is better and of course you know the, the um nordic cards you know they do have like a searcher so we'll get to that in a second okay this is uh swartolf of the nordic alfar this is level five dark tuner this guy, if you tribute summon for him, because he's level 5, if you tribute summon for him, you get to add um, one Nordic monster from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good, but, so it's a plus 1, well actually it's even, because you had a tribute, but really you're not ever going to tribute for this guy. I'm going to show you, you're going to bring this guy on the field really easy. Well, actually you guys could tell, because the attack is only 1400, so you'll see how in a sec. Um... Okay, two gold, gold, uh, gold facts of the Nordic Beast. All right, this guy's a level four beast tuner, but sixteen hundred attack light monster. All right, that's all good and dandy, but that's not why he's in the deck. He's in the deck because his ability is your opponent controls a face-up synchro monster. You can special summon this guy from your hand. So automatically, if you have this and like something else. They have a synchro on the field, you special this, you summon the other thing, and then you get to synchro. So that card's really good. Uh, running it at three though, I just think the deck runs so many tuners already that running it at three wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, next we got Josolf of the Nordic Alphar. This is a level four um, light monster, and this guy actually has a pretty good effect. Basically, if you have um, a Nordic monster, well, actually this says any monster, so, yeah, when this card's normal summon, you could select any monster on the field, and, um, special summon a monster from your hand that's level is equal to or less than, so, if you have a big monster on the field, and then you summon this guy, you get to special summon something, and since you run so many tuners, in the deck that's really good for this because then it's just another synchro so overall that's a good card and it's a light monster okay now we go into this we get two Tangrisnir of the Nordic Beast I don't know if I said that right um when this guy is destroyed by battle you get two two level three tokens so that's that's crazy that's great that's like uh, Dandelion except the tokens are level three and obviously this guy has to get destroyed by battle but that's really good. Um, synchroing in this deck made too so easy. You special summon so much in this deck. That's why you can't run Pot of Duality. But two of these guys is good. I've seen some people run three, but I think two is going to be, be just fine. Uh, two of these guys, Diverg of the Nordic Alpha. This guy's level one. And 
Actually, his effect is pretty good. When he's normal summoned, you get to special summon another... Let me just make sure I'm saying this right. Yeah, you can... You can oh, sorry. When he's normal summoned, you get an extra normal summon. So, if you have like one of the level 4, you know, the level 4 tuner Vanitas, you summon him, you get an extra summon, you summon Vanitas, and then you can sink for a level 5 if you want. And then when this guy goes from the field to the graveyard, by any means necessary, which means battle, card effect, or even synchro summon, you get to add one Nordic Relic card from your graveyard to your hand. So, we are going to use one in the deck, so I'll show you in a second. Alright, next, Dark Arm. Um, you, you run a ton of docks in this deck, so you gotta run Dark Arm. It's just good, and it, take the deck over the top. It's a good card. Chaos Sorcerer, uh, you run like 7 light monsters and like 10 darks or something close to that. So, Chaos Sorcerer is really good in the deck, and I really like uh, plays, well you see in a second. Double Tomato, because Tomato can search out everything in the deck, like all the dark monsters that are besides Chaos Sorcerer and Dark Armed, Mystic Tomato can search. That's why this card's so good. That level 5 tuner that you need to get Loki, let's just say, you can search that with this. That's how broken that is. You gotta run Mystic Tomatoes too good. Um, gotta run Sangin. Sangin searches out everything in the decks. So you, you're forced to run Sangin. Um, level Eater. Level Eater's really good. Especially with your, uh, you know, your your Chaos Sorcerer plays because you can summon Chaos Sorcerer, remove a monster, bring level eater back, and then summon a tuner and probably sink for one of your level 10. So level eater is really good in that respect. Um, and I main one effect veiler. I usually don't ever main effect veiler, but it's really good in his deck because it's level one, it's a tuner, and it's a light monster. So I mean, just all of those things combined makes this card really good in the deck. So, one effect veiler. That's tw 21 monsters. It's a big monster count, but it's necessary, I think. So, so let's go on to the spells. We got one Allure, because we do run a lot of dark. So, Allure is good. One Pot of Avarice, because we get cards in the graveyard quick. This deck really throws stuff in the grave quick. So, one Pot of Avarice. One for one. Uh, this can get you... Effect Veiler, Diverg, uh, Level Eater, a lot of choices. That card's good. Mind Control, because we run a ton of tuners. I think it's maybe like eight tuners or something. Mind Control is good. Then we got your Staples, Dark Coal, Monster Reborn. Um, this deck is built for the March 1st ban list, so only one Book of Moon. So for those of you who are looking for videos that um, are going to reflect the new ban list, all my videos from now on, all the decks I put up are going to be about from the new ban list. So, one Book of Moon, uh, double MST, of course. And you need this more than ever now in this format. Giant Trunade. That's the spell lineup. Let's go on to the traps. Uh, this trap's actually good. Uh, Gleipnir, the Fetters of Fenrir. This card's really good. This is like your Rota in the deck. It searches out, um, you know, all your all your Nordic stuff you add one Nordic monster from your deck to your hand so it's like essentially like having three rotors in the deck it's a trap so at first I thought it would be slow but you'd be surprised you know it's a trap card you set this and then your opponent goes they have MST they're gonna try to kill this with MST and it's a it's a plus two if they try to kill this with MST because they lost MST. You chain this and then you add one from your hand. That's a plus two. This card's this card's too good. Um, this is the Nordic Relic card I was talking about, Leviathan. Uh, I I didn't. I don't want to run Gunnier. I think that that card, Nordic Relic Gunnier, is just not good. I think two turns removing your monster. Granted, you get it back, but I don't like it. I like this better because. Um, this one you can just um, select. I mean, that one destroys a card. This one just only destroys monsters. But this can't be negated by any card or effect. So 
if you target Stardust with this card, Stardust can't activate its effect to chain this. This card can't be chained. So this card's broken. This card's good. So I ruined one of those, and that's the card you can search with the Verg when he goes to the grave. So as long as this card's in the grave, that's good. Uh, Mirror Forest, just staple, you know, control. Uh, double Solemn Warning, Solemn Judgment, and Last Trap card, Return from Different Dimension. This card's great in the deck. We're talking about you remove a dark with um, allure of darkness. You remove darks with dark armed. You remove uh, a light in the dark with chaos sorcerer. You remove monsters with Valkyrie's effect. All those things you're going to be removing mo regular monsters, tuners, all kind of stuff. This card's going to be really good in the deck. So one return from different dimension. That's that's a must. All right, that's the main deck. Now we go on to the side deck. Side deck got one max C and obviously this is for the samurai matchup so one max C double cyber dragon it's obvious you know for machines uh, double thunder king again it's for a lot of different decks the second effect veiler cuz you know effect veiler is good dura dark cuz black wings <laughs> someone even wrote on my page is so funny that no matter what they do to black wings he's gonna play black wings forever uh, there are a lot of players like that. They're going to continue to play the deck no matter what. So we got to continue to side stuff for Black Wings. DD Crow. Um, new card, Forbidden Lance. This card's really good. Uh, basically, you can uh, like attach this to one of your Synchro Monsters. And they lose 800 attack. But for the rest of the turn, they're unaffected by any spell or trap. So this card's really good. Especially if you're going to push for game. So... It's a good card. Um, one crevice, frog monarchs. Frog monarchs really good. You know there are still light sworn players out there. You know anything. This card's just good against anything. That's good. Uh, this card's gonna get side decked in every deck now because six samurai. It's just all over the place. Double dust tornado. So good right now. Um, a torrential and a starlight road. Starlight road for black wings, obviously. Okay, that is the. Uh, the side deck, extra deck. We got one formula synchrone, and you can get this out if you one for one your um, effect veiler, and then use something like the Verg or level eater or something, and you can get this. Cataster, just one level five. Flambo, Urquizus, and Bryonic. Um, notice no Goyo Guardian because Goyo Guardian got banned, so we kind of have to make substitution somewhere. I'm surprised Goyo got banned over this guy. I think this guy's effect is better, but that's just my opinion. Um, Black Rose, Ancient Fairy, because Gravekeepers, they really surprised me by coming second in YCS, so you gotta gotta play Ancient Fairy. Chimera Tech, Colossal, uh, Scrap Dragon. Scrap Dragon is, I mean, Scrap Dragon's so good in this deck, you play Level Eater, so. Scrap Dragon's really good. Double Stardust Dragon. All right, here's the here's where it gets fun. Play one decisive armor, level ten. This card's so good. You guys know. One Thor, one Loki, and one Odin. And obviously, you guys, you know, this is why you play this deck, the Nordics. You play the three polar gods. You know, no matter what. I mean, the lowest attack you're going to get is Loki at 33. The highest is Odin at 4,000. I mean, you know. And then they get special summoned, if you guys don't know. They each require a different type of Nordic tuner. This guy requires Nordic Beasts. And this one, Nordic Alphas. And this one, Nordic Ascendants. And they can all be special summoned from the graveyard if they go there from the field. By removing from play one of the one of the tuners or the cards, I should say. So if you remove a Nordic Beast, you can special summon this. Your opponent takes 800. If you remove an Alpha, you special summon this. You get a trap card back from your grave to your hand. And if you s remove an Ascendant, you get this, and you get to draw one card. That's pretty. That's pretty good in my opinion. So that is. That is the Nordic deck. Um, everybody, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, until next time, YouTube. Peace.